Hello everyone, this is Mr. Wong. Here's a continuation of my 2024 AP Computer Science AFRQ. Again, I'm responding to a challenge my students gave me just to make sure I'm qualified to be their teacher. So uh, it's all fun. So let's go ahead and look at question two. Uh, I made a previous video for question one and we're gonna move on to question two now. So question two, we have a scoreboard for a game Two teams alternate turns. One team is active, other team is inactive. During a team, a team uh, during a turn, a team makes one or more plays. You can score points, and you continue, or you can fail, and no points are scored, and a team's turn ends. So I'm looking right here. The scoreboard class contains a constructor and two methods. The constructor has two parameters. It looks like they're both strings, and they both contain a name of team one, and team two. And we always start team one as the active team. And it looks like here is some sample code. All right, and that's question three. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So we're creating a class scoreboard. And to create a class, we're gonna go ahead and do public class scoreboard. And I'll just take up the whole entire page. And it looks like we have a constructor, two parameters, string, string, and they're the names of teams. So public scoreboard and two parameters. Uh, let's do T1 and oh, T1 fighting string T2. So because we have those as parameters, I'm assuming we're going to have those as uh, instance variables somewhere. I'm going to look here. I see on this line right here that we have the scoreboard, their names, and I probably have to assign those to instance variables. So right here, I'm going to create instance variables. Uh, it's going to be a string. T1 name private string, and I'm making them private because APCSA likes your instance variables to be private. And then I want to assign T1 name to be T1, and T2 name to be T2. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, it said something about the game always begins with T team one as the active team. I'm not sure exactly what that means right now. I'm just gonna move on. We have a record play method. It has a single non-negative integer parameter and it does not return a value. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that method header right now. Public void doesn't return a value. I think it's called record play and it has an integer. And what does this integer represent? the number of points scored, or zero if the play failed. So I'm just gonna call it score then. And this method does something as well. Okay. And I have another method, get score, no parameters, and it returns a string. Get score, no parameters, and it returns a string. Okay. All right, that's the outline of my class. I need to write the instance variables, constructor, and the two methods right there. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, I have my constructor, and then I have my get score. It needs to return, it looks like the scores. It returns the score of team one, hyphen, Score team two, hyphen, name of team currently active. So in order to do that, I need to keep track of the what team is currently active and the scores of each team. So I need to keep track of who is active. And in the beginning, it says team one is always active team. So since I only have two teams, my thought process is, well, why don't I create a Boolean? And the Boolean is just going to keep track of, is 
team one active. If it's false, then team two is active. But if it's true, then team one is active. So I'm running out of space. I guess I'll just write it up here. Private um, int, no, boolean. Boolean is T1 active. Okay. And then I need to make sure to set that in here because it said team one is always active first. And we can't rely on the default value of this instance variable because the default value of a Boolean instance variable is false. So I do need to set it right there. <clears throat> All right. So let's see. Um, I also need to get scores, apparently. I need two more instance variables for scores. I'm just going to write it on the right side. So private int. I'm going to call it t1 score. And private int t2 score. And I'm going to set those right here. T1 score is 0. And T2 score is 0. Now for these, I could rely on the default value of the instance variables because the default value of an int instance variable is 0. <clears throat> but I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in in the constructor. Now in the record play method, it takes in a number. And if it's not 0, then I add the score to whatever team is currently active. If it is zero, uh, if it is zero, like right there, then I switch the team that is active. Let's go ahead and check if it's zero first. So if score is zero, then all I need to do is switch the team that's active. So is T1 active is now the opposite of whatever it was before. Now you could write this as if conditions. So if is T1 active true, then you set to false, else you set true. But this is just a nice way to set to whatever's opposite. Now what if the score is not zero? Else, then I need to add it to whatever team is currently active. So I'm going to check is T1 active? If it is, then I'm going to add it to T1 score. Uh, score. Else, it must mean that T2 is active. I'm going to add it to Team 2 score. <laughs> Alright, I think that is record play. Public string get score. Let's see. I need to return the score of team one, hyphen, score of team two, hyphen, and a name of the team that's currently active. So I need to first determine the name of the team currently active. But first, I want to go ahead and write down here. I know the outcome will be return a string of team one score plus a hyphen, plus team two score, plus a hyphen, plus whatever team's currently active. And I'm gonna call it current team. I need to create this variable. So string current team. Uh, I'll just make it a blank string for now. So if T1 is active, I think I named it is T1 active. If is T1 active, it's true. Then I want current team to be T1 name. Else, I want current team to be team 2 name. 
All right, I think that does it. I think this is question two. Again, if I really want to check my work, what I recommend you do is to look up here and walk through your code, make sure it returns things that make sense according to this example.